Let's now bring in counterterrorism analyst Samuel Katz. Sam, good morning to you. I mean, first it was pagers. Now it's walkie talkies. What's next? Uh, your guess is as good as anybody's. But this is apparently an incredibly well thought out long term um, intelligence operation that uh, came about for possibly a number of reasons. Um, there have been many theories. One is that Hezbollah had come aware of the booby traps and um, Israel was faced, or whoever was behind it, Israel has an admitted um, responsibility, was faced with the use it or lose it scenario. Mm -hmm. Or this is a way of, of how adversaries speak in the Middle East through violence. That this is a way of whoever did this saying, stop, um, stop missile attacks against northern Israel and, um, and we won't in, 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 um, attack you further yeah. with, um, with additional resources. It have these pager and walkie-talkie explosions changed the game of, of this war, and not only for this one, but all wars moving forward? I, this is the type of operation that resets the paradigm. It creates a whole new technological um, way of looking at taking out an enemy that hides among civilians, that is shielded by state sponsors, and that has capability, Hezbollah has hundreds of thousands of ballistic missiles, more than most NATO nations. So this is a way of compromising an enemy without going into full-scale conflict. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people at home who have watched this story play out this week are saying, could something like this happen here in the United States? How do you respond to that, Sam? Well, things like this happen in the United States, although for criminal purposes and with um, computer hacking, identity theft, and, and things of that nature. Anytime electronics seize our lifestyle and we become prisoners of it, they can be um, compromised and manipulated. I, I think that an event, as was seen in Lebanon and may be ongoing, um, requires a sophistication and an industrial a manufacturing capability that individuals, even individual, um, even criminal syndicates do not possess. So I don't think that this is possible, but the, um, the desire of nefarious forces to attack targets either here or there has existed since the dawn of mankind. Yeah. It's just it's just adopting technology to um, to be efficient, deniable, and um, newsbreaking. Yeah, well, it's certainly been newsbreaking this week. We've been thinking about what kind of sophisticated technology forethought must have gone into planning out something like this. Sam Katz, thank you so much, sir. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.